Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to do this. Kind of crazy. Um, well, it's not too crazy. I feel like it's great for spring. It's a really fun way to like amp up your look um, without going totally smoky eye and feeling like we're still left in fall and winter. So I feel like this is a great option to make more of a statement with your eye look in the spring and summertime. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already have foundation on my face and I do have a little bit of mascara because I went out earlier and I didn't want to go completely barefaced. So we've already got a little bit of that on, but I don't have anything underneath my eyes on my lids. No bronzer, no concealer, no nothing. So I look kind of crazy right now. We're going to fix that. I'm going to start with terracotta blush scents and use it underneath my eyes as a corrector to cancel out my dark circles because terracotta is like a peachy orange blush. It's a cream blush. It works great underneath the eyes as a corrector to balance out and counteract the blue dark circles. So squeeze a little dot out of the top and then apply it directly underneath my eyes. You can blend this out with your finger if you want. I prefer to use a brush just because I don't like to get my fingers dirty. So I'm using this 3D HD Precision Brush from Super. why I've got this line here on my forehead. It's like an indentation. I got a massage earlier today and it's been there ever since. Weird. I'm taking a little bit of natural powder, the Senegence natural powder, using that to set the blush scents. I like to set it. I don't think it's necessary to set, but for me personally, I like to because there's been a couple times where I haven't set it and I've been a little hasty going in with my concealer right after and it all mixes together rather than layering. So now I just always set it. So I use some natural powder from Senegence and then this is the F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush from Sigma. All right, we're going into the eyes. Starting off with Sandstone Pearl Shadow Scents all over my lids as a base. I'm just using my finger to tap that in. This is the only time I really prefer my finger over a brush. Any color that I put on my lid as a primer, I prefer to press it in with my finger. It kind of warms it up and just really makes it pigmented, like really holds the pigment there and just blends it all over really nicely. I kind of have an idea in mind of what I want to do today, but don't have like anything that I'm following, no inspiration pick or anything, so hopefully it turns out well. Okay, I'm going to take Pink Berry Blush Scents. I love this blush for everything. It's such a good pink. It's like a really nice cool toned pink that blends out beautifully on your cheeks and on your eyes, which is what I'm using it for today. I'm taking my E35 Sigma brush and I just put a little bit on, this is just like a highlighter, but just on a flat surface and I'm dabbing my brush into it and then kind of dabbing it around to get off any excess because I don't want too much. You can always add more, but you can't take it away very easily. So I'm running that through my crease. Okay, I need you guys to let me know in the comments which you prefer. Do you prefer watching everything from afar or do you like it when I zoom in and show you guys up close of my eyes? Honestly, I think unless I'm doing something super detailed, I like it better from afar because then I can see the whole progression of everything. But that's just me personally, so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Okay, you can see I used hardly any. There's still a ton left on here. I'm not really running it under my eyes, I'm just kind of blending that edge down so it's not like a harsh edge. Another thing I love about Senegence products is I don't feel like I ha have to go in with multiple different shades to get a really nice gradient blend. I feel like our products blend really nicely and kind of almost make their own gradient, if that makes sense. Like you can get a couple different colors from just one item just based on the way that you blend it and how much you leave in one spot versus blending out the other. So anyway, I love that about our products. I don't feel like I need to go in with a bunch of different colors to blend it all. That being said, I am going to go in with a darker color. Um, I'm grabbing Pink Posy and I have to clean off one of my brushes. I like to use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I just spray it directly on my brush and then here's my towel and I just wipe it off onto my towel. Gets my brushes nice and clean really quickly. I do deep clean my brushes 
about once or twice a month using the Cenogens Brush Cleaner, but this stuff is really nice for in between or to switch colors and use the same brush. See, so I've got a million brushes. Okay, so I'm taking Pink Posy on my E25. This is an E25 brush from Sigma, and I'm just keeping it in the outer crease area and keeping it down low. I don't want it to go too high because I want the pink berry to still show up here. I'm just keeping it low. That's why I like this brush, the E25, because you can see it's more flat, but it's still fluffy. So it blends nicely, but it's a lot easier to apply it precisely into this crease area. And I know I'm doing a winged liner today, so I'm slightly winging out the eyeshadow. Next up, I'm using my same brush with Garnet Shadow Scents and I'm applying this even more precisely on the outer corner and slightly up into the crease, but just very, very lightly. Okay, so I cleaned my brush off again. This is the E25. I used it for Pink Posy for Garnet and now I'm using it for Pink Opal Shimmer. This is like a light, shimmery, really light pink color. I'm going to put this on the inner part of my eye right here. Just grabbing it from the brush. A little too much, so I wipe my brush off. And spreading it around. You guys have heard me talk about how I like to apply with one brush and blend with the other. I also like if I don't want to switch back and forth between brushes, I will make sure that I have a towel nearby and I'll apply it with my brush and then wipe off excess and then go back in to blend it with the same brush. I like to do that so I'm not like having to switch out my brushes too often. Just got some nice little sparkle. Okay, here's the fun part. I am going to use Snow Shadow Sense as my eyeliner today. I want it to be, I don't know, kind of cool, kind of graphic. Like white eyeliner was on trend a couple years ago and honestly when people were first wearing it, I was like, Whoa but I wanted to do something different today. So we're gonna try it out. I think I like the lighter colors and the pinky colors because it's already so warm down here in Arizona that I'm like, bring on the spring, bring on the summer, bring on all the light colors. I'm shying away from a smoky eye, but I still want eyeshadow on my lids and I still want something cool on my eyes. Here you go, I'm just taking the product directly off of the wand onto my E, this is an E10 eyeliner brush. I know before I said I wasn't going off an inspo pick, but I don't feel like I can fully take credit for this look either because I've seen white eyeliner done on Pinterest and I've seen it done with pinks and I like it together, but I'm not like looking at a picture, copying it. I'm just kind of going off what I've seen in my brain. <laughs> so I can't take all the credit for it. I love how pigmented our snow shadow sense is. Such a good white. It's so pigmented, but also blends out beautifully. This is my favorite color to put on my inner corners because it blends out really nicely and brightens up your inner corners without looking like chalky, which can happen with whites a lot. Okay, so there's the first layer. I'm gonna do two layers with this. Thickening it up just a little bit because I am going to put lashes on and I don't want the lashes to cover the white. Um, so I want to make sure that the liner is pretty thick. Thick as in this way thick. Bold. Okay, I'm putting a little bit of mascara on. Since I'm wearing eyelashes, I'm not going to worry about it being waterproof mascara. So I'm gonna use this Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Really just doing this to coat my lashes and make sure that they're black so they blend with my false lashes. Okay, I do feel like this wing comes a little low. I'm being gross and putting this in my mouth. This is a lip sense or just a lipstick applicator um, that I get off Amazon. I actually honestly prefer using these instead of Q-tips for a lot of stuff. Including cleaning up the liner. I'm going 
going to bust open a brand new pair of Molly lashes from Vixen. I love these lashes. These are my all-time favorite. We've got them on. That's all that matters. Next up, I'm going to do my under eyes with a mixing light and white concealer. I did get a spray tan recently, and so I'm going to do less white and more light because I don't want it to be like super bright underneath my eyes. Normally I do half and half and I'm just gonna do maybe like two thirds white and a dot of white. I just mix them on the back of this container. I do like, I do have some pre-mix. This is half and half white and light concealer, but I knew it was gonna be a little too light for me, so I mixed up some new today. Applying it with this brush, this is the F75 concealer brush from Sigma. And then I'm blending it in with this F64. Oh, if you didn't see, I'm dipping the brush just into the extra and putting it on the center of my face. Okay, I don't have super oily skin and so I really only like to set the areas that I apply the concealer in. I'm dipping back into my natural powder from Senegence with my F35. I love this brush because it's like tapered and pointed, so it goes super nicely right underneath my eyes. This is my favorite powder for underneath the eyes as far as the way it looks. I feel like it it settles really nicely. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry or crepey or creasy. It actually kind of hydrates. However, it does have a slight bit of color to it. And so if you are my skin tone or lighter, you wanna make sure that you're doing your concealer lighter than you want it because this adds some color back on if that makes sense it's not like a totally translucent powder it has a tiny bit of color so you can see just as i was doing that it like darkened it up just a tiny bit so i always lighten my concealer a little bit i do own some other powders that i'll use for like baking and stuff that are really brightening but this is my favorite as far as the way it settles so i always kind of just go back to the synergy powder i did put it in a separate container to make it easier to spot apply it underneath my eyes right there but it's my fave because i have a spray tan i'm not going to do a ton of bronzing but i am going to contour with mocha java shadow scents um, and I mean, going to use this F04 Sigma brush to blend that out. And then just whatever's extra on my brush, putting it in other places. I'm using Pinkberry Blush Scents on my cheeks. This stuff is so pigmented that literally this tiny dot is all you need. And this is a Real Technique stippling brush that I'm blending it out with. For my cheekbone highlighter, I am using Pink Opal Shimmer Shadow Scents to kind of match what's on my eyes. And this is not the right brush. It's not the one I meant to grab, but I thought I grabbed my F35 and this is not it. This is an F64, 65. F65 and it is not what I wanted. So we'll just use fingers. Look at the highlight that that gives. Okay, I need to redo this side. So pretty. It is a little bit intense and to keep it from looking stripey, I'm going back with my blush brush. No extra product on, but just kind of dabbing it over. And then I'm using my, this is my big powder brush, brush that I'll use to set all over if I need to. I didn't dip it in any extra product, but it has a little bit on there. So I'm just kind of patting it all over. Makes a seamless blend. All right, moving on. Underneath my eyes, I want to add a little bit of pink posy. I don't want too much pink underneath the eyes, and I love pink posy for this because it's it's pink, but it's more of like a warm brown pink rather than like a 
cotton candy pink, like the pink berry. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit off of the wand onto my E36. It's basically like my trusted E35, just in a smaller version. So it's perfect for right underneath the eyes. I feel like I need a little bit of pink berry under there. So I'm dipping back in to the pink berry. I have a little bit left on my lid from when I put it on my eyes. And with the same brush, and it's going right over the top. Okay, I'm gonna deepen out this outer lower lash line with some garnet on my E21 smudge brush. Pressing it right up into my lower lash line, keeping it on like the outer half of my lash line. Pretty much whatever colors I put on the top, I like to do on the bottom too. <laughs> so I'm doing pink opal shimmer on the inner corner. And then I want to really brighten up the inner corner with some snow shadow scents. This brush is my E30 pencil brush. And it is amazing for the inner corner. Alrighty, I'm putting under scents and black lash scents on my lower lash line. Undersense is a lash builder and primer, and it also helps to moisturize your lashes so they don't get brittle. And then black, mm, lash scents. <laughs> and then lash scents is a waterproof mascara that also hydrates your lashes as well. So it doesn't get brittle and dry out your lashes. It conditions and hydrates them. And then it's waterproof. Doesn't flake off or crumble and it doesn't give you raccoon eyes. Ooh, I almost forgot brows. I have a little pre-mixture of Mocha Java and Onyx in here. It's mostly Mocha Java with a tiny bit of Onyx. And this is what I use to do my brows every single day. I was on the smoked topaz train for a little while, but I felt like it was a little too dark for how light my hair is. So I mixed up my own little creation. I put it in here. It doesn't dry out as long as you put the cap back on. But honestly, even if it does dry out, like mine has dried out a tiny bit, but I actually like it. I like it for my brows when it's a little bit more dry because it just kind of, I don't know, it's a little more clay-like and easier to make like hair strokes, I guess. I don't know. I just like the texture of it when it's dried out a little bit. But I've had that mixture in there for a couple weeks now and I, I haven't had any issues with it. Now the concealer, on the other hand, when I mix up the concealer, I make sure to not mix too much because... If that stuff dries out, it's really hard to blend. Okay, lastly, I need to do lips. I have no idea what I wanna do on those. This is dark pink, and I feel like it's a good option. I'm gonna do dark pink.
I feel like it matches my eyes pretty good. Just a little pink Barbie over here today. Okay, I'm gonna be a little different today and top it with some matte gloss. I like the idea of a matte lip with all the like shimmer that's going on on my eyes. I kind of wanted to tone the lip down a little bit. I like the way this turned out. What do you guys think? Oh, my hair is like freshly curled, so it hasn't had time to like flatten down. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. I love all of your comments and support. I'll see you all in my next video.